Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. For a personal reading, please visit my website. All the information is in the description box below. Also, I do have a Patreon, a join membership here on YouTube. If you will like, um, you will receive all access to my hypnosis, my meditations, also access to exclusive readings, okay? All the information is in the description box below. Spirit messages, please, for Pisces. Pisces, please. Okay, Pisces. So we do have the ghost number seven, and that is about giving birth to something new. Okay, that is about a change that is occurring. Okay, something for the better. Okay, um, I do hear new beginnings, a new start, but I feel like you're fed up with something. I feel like you're kind of, um, you felt like you were overcompensating for something or putting work into something um, that was not bearing the fruit that you felt like it should. Okay. We do have the ghost of the number 11, and that is about um, authority figures, institutions. It's almost like the Hierophant in a justice card, okay? Um, there is... There is something that's coming towards you that is going to help make some changes in your life. Um, there is also, um, if there is a legal matter that is going on, I feel like there is going to be balance coming through. Now, also, if there is, um, you may be wanting to go back to school, new learning, or learning something new here, okay? We do have the number 15, and with the number 15, that's chit-chat, people talking, um, people uh, wanting to discuss things. Uh, uh, there may be somebody also m making something up because with the ghost of 15, it's about gossip. Um, it, it's about someone saying things that they shouldn't say, okay? We do have the number 14 here. And the number 14 is travel, um, new adventure, wanting to do something new, uh, ready to go, uh, no more um, stagnancy, ready to move forward. Okay, let's see what else. We have the number 34, and that is in reverse. Um, so with the number 34, it's about you're trying to figure out a solution to this problem. Um, you feel like, again, you may have felt stuck. You just threw your hands up in the air. And you're like, I, I, need, I need to find out. Out something but I feel like more information is coming through or something is coming through again with the ghost of um, authority figures and into in uh, legal matters okay so I feel like a solution is going to be coming in we have the ghost of number 31 and uh, with the ghost of number 31 that is about defending yourself or feeling like you had to defend yourself okay so at this time I feel like you're just again I keep seeing you being fed up with something you're just tired. You're not going to speak about it. And you're going to keep your guard up. You're under protection. But you're just not going to um, indulge in something that is not worthy to you. We have the ghost of number one. <clears throat> and with that, that is about um, some, that's about knowledge, skill. Um, and it's more of you're keeping things to yourself during this time. You're not informing someone or doing something that someone else wants you to do. We have the number 30. Um, and the number 30 is about community and family. Again, you may be keeping to yourself during this time. You're a little closed off due to, and people want to know what's going on with you. I just feel like um, there's a nosy energy or someone doesn't, is unreasonable, okay? But there is going to be a lot of travel. I feel like you're on your way to make some changes. And again, you're just fed up with something and you're um, keeping to yourself. No one is going to disturb your peace during this time. I feel like you're just keeping to yourself and you just don't want to be disturbed. Again, I keep seeing you putting your hands up in the air. You're just like, I'm tired. I don't want to be bothered. So, um, Spirit, what else, please? For Pisces? You may be also fed up with a situation. Um, and again, you're just done with something. Spirit messages are for Pisces. You may be also going into hermit mode. Messages for Pisces, please, Spirit. Messages for Pisces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have the Nine of Swords. So, uh, Pisces, with the Nine of Swords, there is anxiety. There may have been grief. But you are... I, I feel like you're getting over something. You're just done and over. It, it's just done. I just keep hearing, I'm done. 
and you're ready to move forward and like i said i kept hearing something about travel so you're on your way to do something new you're you're taking a risk because you want something better um there may have been some obstacles or roadblocks to where you have been wanting to go but i feel like that is about to be uplifted or that is about to be lifted spirit what else please for pisces i heard ground zero yeah look at that we have the three of swords pisces um so i do feel like there is going to be some sorrow because you are looking at this risk that you're about to take but you don't i heard you don't care um but it is a breakthrough okay um this symbol here i think it's called bagus it's it's considered an awakening a breakthrough okay so you're awakening to something okay but you're not allowing anything to hold you back any longer pisces you're ready like i said to embark on something new we have the eight of pentacles okay so with the eight of pentacles great communication really moving forward feeling inspired ready to take action ready to work on something okay going with the flow um success this could be travel success in your travel as well okay um but dreaming of something, feeling a power of renewal also, okay? And we do have the tower. So something surprising is going to happen due to you taking this risk. Now this risk, other people may feel a certain way because you are taking a risk. But you are making the final decision, okay? And you've made the decision that this is what you want and this is how you're going to get there. Spirit, what else please? This is something I feel that is faded for you. We do have the lovers, okay? So for some of you, this could be um, a partnership. This could be a relationship that you're moving towards. For others, this could just be a partnership in career with that Eight of Pentacles. You're ready to work on something. You're ready to move forward. But you're ready to leave something behind for something better. <clears throat> mm-hmm. We have the emperor. So I feel like you're stepping into your power here. And like I said, um, feeling the power of renewal. Okay, we do have the six of wands at the bottom of the deck, but you're feeling renewed. You're feeling enlightened because you have made this decision to move forward. And like I said, there's going to be talk. People are talking. There may be a little chit chat and gossip, but no matter what, we still have the six of wands coming out. Okay, you are going to be very victorious and whatever you decide side to do but like i said there may be obser uh, people observing trying to figure out what you're doing how you're moving why you're doing it this way it's none of their business mm -hmm. we have the five of um the five of pentacles so i feel like you're just leaving people out in the cold people are not really happy about that you're keeping to yourself and again i feel like people are not happy about that we do have the Eight of Swords. So with the Eight of Swords, I just feel like um, you felt imprisoned at one time or restricted or you felt isolated. That is done. You're not feeling like that anymore. You're leaving all of that behind as you have taken this risk to move forward. And people may want to say a whole lot of things about what you're deciding to do, but you're the one that's receiving the clarity and understanding of what your path is. And, you know, you're not settling for anything else. Okay, Pisces? Um, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Wands. So uh, with the Knight of Wands, I just feel like a change in your environment, um, a change in uh, what you're trying to do. Um, you're moving forward. Uh, you're very, um, you feel carefree right now. You're not caring. Okay. All right. So thank you so much, Pisces. Please like and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.